Hi everybody, this is Avicina, author of Nutrition and Hair Loss, A New Perspective. And today I'm going to be addressing the correlation between fat-based diets, ketogenic diets, carnivore diets, and hair loss. This is an issue a lot of people have been dealing with and uh, a few of you guys have asked me to make a video about. So in the first instance, uh, if you simply do a YouTube or Reddit search and you search the keywords ketogenic, carnivore, or fat-based diet and hair loss, you come up with dozens, perhaps even hundreds of different threads and forums of individuals uh, suffering with hair loss on a fat-based diet, right? So this is basically, I searched Keto Hair Loss Reddit, and um, if you go th through these threads, there's many, many, many individuals. It's a very common symptom. Uh, if you look on YouTube, for example, you know, I just again searched losing hair ketogenic or ketogen diet and you again come up with dozens, perhaps hundreds, I wouldn't be surprised if thousands of videos about ketogenic diets causing hair loss. And uh, this woman, uh, Ali, for instance, she had lost a significant amount of weight on a ketogenic diet, but also seemed to have lost at least... Um, the majority of her hair, perhaps even more than half. Uh, so you just keep searching through this stuff and it's very prevalent. Now I want to talk about why this is. Why are people losing hair on a ketogenic diet? Well, first off, I'd like to talk about an anthropological perspective. We can talk about indigenous and primitive tribes. When we study indigenous and primitive tribes, we find that for the most part, none of them bald, lose hair, or have receding hairlines. Uh, with the exception of the Maasai and other tribes who are in fact on the ketogenic diet or who subsist off of a diet composed primarily of meat and dairy. So we'll talk about why this is, but first I just want to show a short clip. These are Maasai, of course. I have nothing against meat eating, but... Very beautiful people. Okay. You see the receding hairlines. There's nothing wrong with it. Of course, men do bald, but when it comes to primitive cultures, the Maasai uh, have an extremely high prevalence of balding. And um, of course, over here, they're slaughtering a cow and. They're drinking the blood out of the jugular vein because it's extremely nutritious. So you can't get more ketogenic than this. It's the healthiest <laughs> ketogenic diet possible. Um, why is this? Why are they losing hair? Well, the reason is because diets that are high in animal fat come with an excess of extrinsic animal hormones. These extrinsic animal hormones build up in the body and they disturb the body's internal biochemistry. They handicap the internal glands, the pituitary, adrenal, and thyroid glands from producing their own hormones. And it kind of has a, 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 a handicapping effect. Further, these excess extrinsic or external animal hormones, when they come in and build up into the body, they convert into a, a, a estrogen as well as excess androgenic hormones such as DHT, which can end up killing the hair follicle. Now, a great analogy to this is bodybuilders. Bodybuilders typically are always balding or they have a high prevalence of balding and that is because they take in excess or high doses of synthetic exogenous hormones which, uh, you know, basically attack the hair follicle, ex raise excess DHT and destroy their own uh, glandular system. These individuals typically have to take some kind of hormone replacement therapy or testosterone replacement therapy for the rest of their life. Now, if we can go to other tribes who are subsisting off of carbohydrates, in addition to animal products, but not on animal fat solely or uh, animal products solely, we see that they this have hair be of the texture of into old sauce. age, typically their whole life. So these are uh, indigenous tribe in Papua New Guinea who subsist Once off of wild fish, pork, and, and dozens of different squashes so and roots and tubers. The soil. And you can see how the individuals will have great thick heads of hair and it's again because the uh, excess fiber, the fiber in their diets, goes into the digestive tract, 
<clears throat> and excretes excess hormones through the colon. They don't have a buildup of excess hormones which disturbs their biochemistry. So take a look at this. I'm going to show you guys about a minute or two of it. And pay attention to the food and the hairlines and uh, the health of the people. Right, you don't have no receding hairlines or anything. Then they place the red hot stones in layers separated from the food with banana leaves. Yet another use for bamboo is to carry water from the river. The <clears throat> A carbohydrate based diet. there was any contact with the outside world, the million natives that lived there into their necks squash, corn in the G is now called so I know these are only two examples and I could give dozens more and I will in the future as I continue to upload videos uh, but it would take me hours to really give a thorough analysis these are only two examples of one tribe subsisting off of carbohydrates wild plants as well as uh, farm plants in addition to wild fish and pork uh, as opposed to a tribe who is living off of only animal products the Maasai have little to no fiber in their diet uh, it is perhaps the healthiest type of ketogenic diet you can go on and yet they ball uh, profusely and uh, you know I, I outlined one reason but let's go to the second reason the second reason being is that the majority of cattle the majority of fat that is consumed by people today is not normal uh, as we see here, the majority of cattle in the United States or in the Western world or in the modern industrialized world today comes from these feedlot cattle who are fed typically genetically modified corn, uh, hybridized wheat that have high doses of pesticides sprayed on them. If you have ever driven through California, taking the five uh, up and down, you probably roll up your windows and close your vents because you smell the... Um, the waste product, you smell the manure and you smell the fumes coming out of these feedlots and it's, uh, it is disgusting. And that is where the majority of ketogenic or carnivore dieters are consuming their meat from. So this kind of meat, this kind of fat is extremely high in pesticides and herbicides and uh, the, the flesh itself is built from genetically modified carbohydrates. The cattle don't even have the right proportions of uh, uh, fatty acids which help to build the brain build the glands and fuel the body of course it's better than eating complete junk food N nonetheless when it comes to balding and thinning hair or when it comes to fatigue on ketogenic and carnivore diets this is no doubt a primary reason why it happens uh, you're eating fat you're eating meat that is extremely saturated and again, pesticides and environmental pollutants. Pesticides, heavy metals, herbicides, uh, all kinds of synthetic chemicals and um, dioxins which accumulate in animal fat and make their way into the human body. They d damage cells, they damage brain cells, they handicap the adrenals and thyroid from functioning properly, uh, especially in women. And this causes a general degradation of the body. You can't really expect... Uh, to get health from meat like that. I mean, this is normal. Uh, cattle that is grass-fed, right? Natural, wild, normal cattle. At least in this instance, you have the proper fats, you have the proper minerals, right? You're having a full amino acid profile, you're having a full vitamin profile. This is totally different than grain-fed uh, feedlot cattle. These cattle, not only are they high in environmental pollutants, but they also shot up with antibiotics because they're breaking out in diseases, right? Due to the living conditions. They're also pumped up with growth hormone. And growth hormone, of course, uh, will also make its way into the body and cause androgenic hormones to spill over and kill the hair follicles. So 
that is another reason. So if you like this kind of information, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe. I also have my book in the link. The book is Nutrition and Hair Loss, A New Perspective. In the book, uh, is available on Amazon. I have outlined my entire thesis on hair loss as well as the protocol on how to reverse the process. Thank you all. I wish you all have a nice day. Thank you.